In this video, we're going to take a look at a reversing challenge that I made for the Integracy Lead Up Live CTF 2024. The challenge is called Secure Bank, and it looks like this. You run the binary, it asks you for a super admin pin. You can try and put something in, like 1234, and it'll say that it's been denied. You get the incorrect pin message. Sometimes I like to run Ltrace here and see whether it's just doing like a standard comparison. So it looks a little bit complicated. It's really not. If I just put in 1234, Sometimes here you'll literally just see, okay, it's comparing 1234 with 4321. So then you know, okay, I'll go back and try 4321. It doesn't work this time. Another thing we could do is open up with a debugger. So if I open up GDB and pass in the binary name, and in here, let's disassemble the main function, have a look through it, and we want to see where is the first comparison being done here, probably. So right here is a comparison. So it takes in some input from us and then it's going to move a value into the EAX register and then it's going to compare them. You could also set up a breakpoint here. This is main plus 78 so we could do break star and then main plus 78 or you can provide the address once it's been populated. It was 78 right yeah. Okay we do that. Let's do it again. One two three four and it's hit that breakpoint. It's waiting for us to do something. And here is the comparison. It's comparing 4D2, which let's have a look what that is on hex. 4D2, okay, that's turning it into ASCII. Well, basically that's our input. That was 1234 is 4D2. It's subtracting 539. So we basically want to go and convert this into decimal. I'll just tell you now that the answer to that is 1337. Um, you could go and convert it yourself, or you could go and open it up in Ghidra and do like the conversion there. But yeah, let's try it again. Let me exit this. Let's do secure bank and 1337. There we go. We've got past the first stage. Now the second part is asking us for a 2FA code. And maybe we'll just do the same thing as last time, try and L trace it. Now we do 1337 and it asks for the code. Let's see. All right, but it's not giving a standard comparison. We could do some more GDB stuff. I'm going to open it up now in Girdra and see what's going on with the decompiled code. So here we go. We've got our disassembled code here. So our assembly and we've got a decompiled code here. And yeah, if we want to see what that was in decimal, we can just very easily convert it in Girdra. We can rename some of these variables if it helps. Like for example, here was our admin pin. So let's change that to pin. And then here is our 2FA code. There we go. Is anything missing? You might want to rename some of these data sections. I sometimes like to do that. So like percentage U. All right. So we have the code that's generated here. And then we have the user input 2FA here. Okay. Everything renamed. So I guess we want to try and find out how that 2FA code is generated. We know it's taken in the 1337 as the input. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me double click it. All right, so here is what's going on. So you could go and try again, rename some of this. I would probably change this to I. Instantly makes more sense. And yeah, you'll need to go through. You've got an obscure key function, which is doing some shifting and some XORs. And yeah, some more, some multiplying with XOR and shift. Basically just some obfuscation that was written mostly with ChatGPT. And you could probably solve this mostly with ChatGPT as well, if you don't want to try and do this manually. And if you did that, you would end up with something like this. Let me open up the solve script. It's basically just going to reverse everything that we saw in the C binary. So we have worked out the pin from just some basic reversing. And then we have got this generate 2FA code, which is just a Python equivalent of exactly what is happening in the C code. And the same with the obscure key, which means if we run Python solve, it tells us what the expected 2FA code is. We can do now secure bank, it asks us for the pin 1337, it asks us for the code, paste that in and then we get back the flag. All right, so nice, quick and easy one. We did get some feedback last year that there weren't enough easy or beginner friendly challenges, which I do understand. I think it's difficult because there are a lot of really good CTF players who just play every CTF that they forget that like half, if not more of the players of each CTF are like beginners or have never played a CTF before. So I want to make sure everybody has something that they'll enjoy. I would also say it's not that easy if you don't use ChatGPT because reverse engineering some of this would have been a lot harder um, before we had some of these AI solutions. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.